Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining spoilers and rear wings. Now, the two are often used interchangeably to say the same thing, but in all reality they are different. Now, I mix them up myself all the time, but uh, the point is they're actually different devices. Uh, I'm going to be explaining basically what these two, are, two devices are used for. Now, uh, just a heads up, if you haven't already watched all of my other videos, you may want to do that first as this video does contain spoilers. Okay, terrible joke. Anyways, uh, a spoiler is a device used for reducing lift uh, and also improving the aerodynamics. So if you've ever rode on an airplane uh, and been looking out the window while you're landing, um, you've actually watched a spoiler uh, in action. So when that plane is landing, it lifts up this flap on the back of the wing. That's actually a spoiler, and so what that's doing is disrupting the airflow that's flowing over the wing. So normally there's a high pressure area underneath the wing and a low pressure area uh, on top of the wing. Now this spoiler flaps up and it disturbs that uh, pressure differential we've got going on and now we have a high pressure up on the top um, and we're spoiling that airflow and so what's going to happen is the plane is going to go down uh, instead of having lift and going up. So you're going to be reducing the lift uh, and that's basically what a spoiler is for. So on a car when you've got uh, that rear uh, spoiler on the back um, basically all that's doing is just trying to reduce lift. Now a rear wing, on the other hand, is a device intentionally used for creating downforce. So you're intentionally creating a larger force pressing down on the vehicle so they can go around a corner faster. Now I'll have a video eventually uh, talking about downforce uh, and how much faster it'll allow uh, cars to go around corners. But for now, basically, we're just going to say that this rear wing, the purpose of it is for creating downforce. Now how does it do this? Well, as the vehicle is traveling through, here we've got uh, the back of a car, uh, and on this back of this car, we've got this rear wing. So the air is passing along, and it gets kind of built up on top of it, and it flows very freely below it. So what that does is creates a high pressure on top and low pressure on the bottom, and you have a net force down. Now taking a closer look at it so it kind of makes a little bit more sense, basically what this uh, spoiler is doing is forcing the air on top to move upward. And by doing that, you're creating a net downward force on the wing itself. So you can kind of think of it like a slanted plate and you've got air hitting that slanted plate. And as that air hits the slanted plate, it has a downward force uh, and a horizontal force pushing it back. So the net force pushing down has those two components. Now the force pushing it back is drag. The force pushing it down is downforce. And this is ultimately the one that you want and this is the one that you don't want. So you want to maximize your downforce, minimize your drag, uh, and that's basically the intention of rear wings. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.